guys, it's Kelly Lanabola here and I am back with another video for W Plus 9 and today we're going to be doing super quick Christmas cards. This is the new Be Merry set from this month's release and I love it. I love the font that's in it but I love that you that's all you need to make a set of cards. So here you can see this is all my W Plus 9 inks kind of stamped out and that's the best way that I've found to come up with color combinations just for me is just to kind of swatch everything out and see what I like. So once I had my color combinations down, I took the lightest color of each one to go ahead and do a background. So I'm just going to use a um, ink blender, and I'm just going to blend it like I would Distress Inks. Um, sometimes the ink color can be a little bit strong, just like with Distress Inks. So in that case, like you'll see me sometimes tap it or blot it off on um, the grid paper that I use uh, in the background. But other than that, I just it goes on super smooth and uh, works really well. I'm using um, the W plus nine white cardstock. Everything just kind of blends really nice and gives you a good edge. I did a little bit on the top and then a lot on the bottom. That's how I did all the colors for all the backgrounds. And then just to add some interest, I did little um, spatters on the top and the bottom with the W plus nine shimmer spray. I can't get enough of that stuff. I really I want to put it on everything. <laughs> So for my sentiment, I'm using my Mini Misty, and I'm just going to um, stamp the same sentiment over and over again. The Misty is a great tool if you're going to be mass producing anything, which I frequently do with Christmas cards, because I can't come up with that many different designs. <laughs> um, this is It's just a really good card uh, to kind of play around with color a little bit, and it's uh, one layer, so it'll mail flat, which is always nice. So here I am using um, two masks because I'm using full sticky post-it notes and that banner um, is just a little too big so I ended up cutting it into two pieces but that's no big deal. Uh, it worked just fine. So here I am going to basically I'm just going to use the stamps that are in this set. So there's all these gorgeous sentiments but then there's also the little add-ons, little flowers and leaves and um, I feel like a lot of times we overlook the little stamps that are included, but you can use them to create really, really beautiful cards, um, and they'll carry your whole card. So I stamped down two flowers um, opposite each other using, um, that was Bloomsbury. And then I'm going to go ahead and stamp the leaves in um, Bo Peep. So this is a non-traditional Christmas color card. Um, it's kind of like a got a frosty feel with the purple and the blue and the silver. Um, but you can do whatever color combination you want. I did some traditional, um, some a little less traditional. I just used um, whatever I thought was going to be pretty. And um, this gives me a chance to kind of try out maybe things that I would like together. And then putting together my... Um, floral arrangement I was just looking at um, some assemblance of symmetry it's not exactly uh, the same um, but it does work well uh, especially you know with that banner there to uh, be like a solid center and this is just accents and um, I just I, I love the idea of it so much I love anything that's um, simple and clean and one layer and quick, <laughs> especially when we're talking about, um, you know, Christmas. There's just so much going on at such a busy time of year. So this one is the um, traditional uh, colored, so a uh, more olive green, the reds, and then a little bit of yellow. I wanted to add in more of the flower color for each one of these cards. So I found Copics that matched um, the W plus 9 inks, and then I just went in and colored the berries and the stems the same color, whatever that was. In this case, it happened to be red. In this one, it's more, um, I use sweet gelato, so if it's more of a pink, and I just um, colored those in. They were super pretty without it. You wouldn't have needed to do it. I just wanted a little bit more of that color. So I think this is the shortest video I have ever done for UW Plus 9, which will tell you exactly how quick these were because my videos are always super long. So thank you so much for joining me, and I will catch you guys on the next video. Bye.